Hey guys, it's Jay from Coffee, Tea and Studying and today I'm going to be showing you what is in my pants case. Before the video starts, I'd just like to address if you hear any rustling in the background, that is my pants, it's nothing to worry about. Anyway, let's get started. So as you can see, I take two pants cases to school, um, but we're just going to be focusing on this one for the time being and then I'll show you what's in the big one a bit later on. So this is the Fajor Ravan Kankin pen case in frost green. I use this one like in class most of the time just because it's just got like all my basic needs when I'm scribbling down the notes. So as you can see I've got some pins on there from Etsy. I'll link all the pin like the shops where I got the pins from down in the description below just in case you guys want to go and pick it up. So the first thing that I have in my pen case is this pen. This pen is a Disney pen and it's just got category categorically particular and then on the other side it's got Cheshire Cat. I bought two sets of these. I bought the Alice in Wonderland set which is what this one's from and I also bought the Peter Pan set. Um, honestly I wouldn't really recommend them. They're quite pretty but they don't really write that well and for the price of them like they feel really cheap and they write quite cheap um but yeah so this is just one of the pens i have in there for me and my friends because my friend is constantly forgetting his pens so this one i use for marking by the way this is a black pen just to let you know so this pen i use for marking it is the tesco's ballpoint pen um it comes in a set with loads of different colors this one's just the one that i take to school which is just a red pen um, in England, a lot of colours that you use, like the main ones that teachers and students have to use is red, purple or green, though you can sometimes get away with pink. I'm in college, they don't really mind what colour we use, but I just like to stick to red. So, the next pen in my pants case is this one. So this one is Next Step Southwest, it's just like a freebie pen that I got when they came to my old school. Um, if you don't know what this company organisation is, they are like a group of people from different colleges and universities and they talk about like further education so college and university and different ways that you can go this is just the Somerset one so yeah they talk about higher education and like what courses you can do and gives you like tasters and stuff they actually brought like um different like animals to our school which is quite cool so and this is honestly one of my favorite pencils this is the paper made non-stop hb and this one's in pink but the reason why i like it so much is that you twist the pencil and the lead comes out but what i like about it is that the lead goes back in because i know like a lot of pencils like mechanical pencils the lead just doesn't go back in and you know it ends up snapping off or whatever and also the lead itself is quite sturdy like it's a lot sturdier than any mechanical pencil lead that i've ever used so yeah this i've used this brand for i want to say like five years no six years i've used it for at least six years so yeah and i'm still using them because they're amazing so the next one this is the zebra i don't know if you can see that, zebra z grip pen it is just a ballpoint pen again it is a pen where a lot of people in england tend to use them i'm not sure about like the uk as a whole but in england especially at least where i've been uh, a lot of people use them this is just like a bog standard pen where it's not like a supermarket owned brand but it's a very used brand but yeah i would definitely recommend this pen um it doesn't write the best but it writes a lot better than other ballpoints though i would say like the tesco's ballpoint actually writes better than this one so yeah if you do want to get a ballpoint i'd say the tesco's one it does look a little bit cheap, as you can see, but honestly, I don't know if it's just because it's smaller, but I find that I write better with this one and, like, the other colours than I do with this separate one. So the next thing I have in my pants case is this ruler. So this is just a Helix collapsible ruler. The reason I keep it in there is just to underline titles or to, like, write tables or whatever, so I didn't really want, like, a huge one to take up place in my bag when I could just have this collapsible one. These are normally about a pound in England, so they're quite cheap and they 
work really well. So this is the pen that I love the most. It is the Zebra Z Grip, but it's the smooth version. You can kind of see like one second. The color of the like barrel is a little bit different, but this one, even though it's still a ballpoint, it kind of writes more like a gel pen. Um, not a hundred percent. Like there is still some kind of like bump looking to it but it writes a lot more smooth and I don't know I just I really like it and when I bought this pen it was like the exact same price as a pack of these um but yeah and I find that I actually go through a lot more of these not because the ink's running out quicker but because I use it more often so I actually have two erasers in my pen case so I actually can't remember what the brand is of this rubber but basically um, when I went to my old school, I'm now in college, when I went to secondary school, uh, I did art and we bought this like portfolio thing and you got different art supplies. So you could, you got like watercolours, shading pencils, oil pastels, sketchbook and one of the things you got in there was an eraser and honestly this is one of my favourite erasers. My other favourite is this Stadler Mars Plastic one. Uh, it's quite bog standard, as you can see, I've not been using this one quite often because I've been using this one up, but I keep it just in case, you know, someone's trying to erase same time as me and they ask if they can borrow one, I can just throw this one at them. But yeah, this one, I don't really like like the putty ones or like ones that don't give off like the shavings. I just, for me, they don't tend to work as well. So this is just one that I use, again, quite cheap but yeah I would definitely recommend it so we're down to our last things and I think these are just like yeah so I also keep another mechanical pencil in there just because obviously I might run out of lead and or if someone else needs a pencil you know so I try not to use the like tips like the rubber tips because if you take this rubber tip off you can refill the lead you can't really see it but you can refill the lead in there and so I don't really want to use it too much to the point where it just kind of like doesn't open or refill to the point where you can't refill it so the last thing in this pencil case is again another pencil just because i really don't like running out and also if i run out and again like one of my friends needs to use it one of my classmates i want to be prepared you know i want to like be able to say yes to them using it and also yeah so that is all that's in my fast pants case as you can see here uh, i have like badge locks which i also link down below i got them off of amazon and these are the ones with like the little like allen keys so literally you cannot pull it off at all i don't want to pull it too much because obviously i might ruin the pants case but you can't pull it off at all and yeah and then here it's just like the kankan information that you get in all kankan so moving on this is my big pants case this pants case i use more like when i'm studying during lunch or whatever or like if i run out because you also see some more spares just because i need to be prepared and i don't tend to go into my pants case every single day because i have other products like other pens and pencils and everything at home so once i get home if i forget that you know my pens ran out I don't want to be like go to school the next day and figure out oh well I'm screwed so this is by the brand Morrison Co you can see it's like engraved into the zipper which is quite cool so it actually comes with a pocket here which you can kind of see um I don't really use that pocket just because it is actually a travel case but like a travel toiletry case but I don't tend to use it so at school, I only tend to bring one highlighter. The reason for this is because a lot of the time we don't tend to be given text in paper form at all. Uh, we just get given it through like teams. So this is my favourite highlighter brand of all time. It is the Stadler Tech Surf Classic. They have pastel, they have normal, which this is normal. It's just my camera's kind of making it come across as pastel for some reason. But yeah, this brand is so good and like my grandma used this brand and she gave me like all her stationery because she stopped writing and like I'm pretty sure it's either this one or like another one that I have has, is still going and they're refillable as well so they're good for the environment next thing is 
this Stadler Tri Plus Fineliner. So yeah, it's just in the shade green. We have this Tri Plus color, which if you don't know the difference, this is really, really thin. And then this is more kind of like a colored pen marker, like a small marker pen. Uh, I tend to use these more for titles and those more for subtitles. Um, and there's another type, which I'll probably, here it is. So this is the other type, which is the roller, which I also have. And I actually kind of prefer these. These are again, kind of like ballpoint pens, um, but a little bit more inky. And I use these for just like uh, keywords and stuff. So if you want to write in color, I use that one just so that there's some difference. So again, surprise, surprise, another mechanical pencil. The reason for that is because I can just, you know, make sure that like if that one's running out and this one's running out they have this like i was saying the tesco's ballpoint pens it doesn't really show on camera but this green is more of like a neon green yeah i can't get it to show it's showing up as a different color on camera but it's like a neon green and it writes so smoothly so yeah i would definitely recommend it again light blue i tend to use this one probably the most just because i tend to just pick up a color um i don't really tend to color code except for with the highlighters at home um but yeah so then this you can kind of see it a little bit more this is more of like a neon orange you know it's coming up more like a tangerine on screen uh but again really good quality pens for the price they were like a pound for the whole pack so this one is a uh, final that i've had for ages you can kind of see that this is bent and it's kind of the wording's rubbed off a little bit but yeah, I just have like basically all of my fine liners in here. I'll just go through. We've got like a red, dark green. This is one of the rollers in red. Purple fine liner, which also I bought in like a pack years ago, like a huge pack. And I bought the exact same pack and it didn't have purple. Again, a really, really old one. Um, orange. So I actually used to keep them all rubber banded with some hair bands, but they didn't really work for me. So even though it's kind of coming up as like a really dark green, this is like a forest green, a neon yellow and a very light blue. So this is just a brown. Which honestly, I'd rather a purple than a brown, but you know. So then we also have this like light blue roller and again, orange roller though. For some reason, this one's turned out lighter on camera. It's more of like a ready orange, but here it's turned out more neon than the Tesco's one. Um, we also have just like a bog standard just pen. I think this one's also a Tesco brand. Um, but yeah, like a Tesco's Biro in black. Again, it writes quite well. So then again, you can see the remnants of the hair bands, uh, the roller in pink and brown. So we got the yellow one. I tend to use this one quite often for like highlighting, um, like not highlighting, but like, you know, like bubbles around certain words, like circles and stuff, but not so much for like words. So we also have the blue fine liner, dark blue one, and the brown fine liner. Oh, got a loose hairband there. Then we also have the yellow rollerball one, which for some reason, like, I also have the yellow uh, of this one. Um, I actually ended up taking most of them out. I thought I took that one out, but I must have forgotten to take that one out but for all three of the different tri plus ones the roller the fine liner and the and the color one they all have like a different shade of yellow which is kind of cool but kind of annoying sometimes but this one's actually the darkest color so if you don't like the fine liner yellow you might like this one so then we got this orange fine liner one and this purple actually comes out more of like a pinky purple um, when you write it with it. So, yeah. So, 
So I also have this pink fine liner. Sorry if you hear clanking. That's the neighbours doing some construction. So this is the uh, another one of the Alice Wonderland ones. It says, if you don't think, you shouldn't talk. And it's just got the Mad Hatter on it. And yeah, so the way you put... I don't know if I showed you the other one, but the way you like put the nib out for this one is you just twist and it clicks and then it's open and then you twist again and it's shut. So then we've got this normal writing one, which is just one of the... It's different to this different to this tesco's one which is kind of you can see you've got like a groove also for some reason on camera it's coming up as like an orange it's actually pink like neon pink but my camera's doing something um but yeah it's like a different one to these but it's also like still called tesco ballpoint but these normally tend to just come in black or black and blue um and again i actually prefer these to the zebra ones however if you break this part off, which I did um, with like an old set that I had, it becomes really sharp. So I definitely be careful with that because I actually ended up cutting my hand with one of those pens, which was lovely. But yeah, camera's making it appear orange. Um, just making sure there's no more pens. Oh, so this is my like second favorite pen. Like if we've got a ranking. Like, my favourite pen isn't in my pond's case, but this one's, like, my second favourite. This is the Paper Mate Ink Joy, and it is one millimetre. And it just comes out really smoothly, and again, it's a... I don't know if you can see it, I don't know if my camera will pick it up. Nope, it's not going to focus on it, but it's a ballpoint pen. There we go, you can kind of see there, little ball. It's a ballpoint pen, and it writes really, really smoothly. Honestly, they could have worded it as a gel pen and people would have thought it's the same. So then we've got these sticky notes. Again, it's coming out really light compared to what it is in real life. It's neon pink in real life. Um, but yeah, I just have like a small amount of them. They're kind of a bit bent. Um, but yeah, the reason for that is just in case like I think of something and I need to jot it down. But it's not worth going in my notepad or in like my planner. I tend to just use these. Also, if we've just got like different things that I need to do. So I also have the same yellow one. Uh, that's because one of them is drying out. I can't remember which one. Um, and I have like three <laughs> yellow ones. I don't know how that happened. Two came from my grandma and then one came from like a set of them. So, yeah. And then last but not least, I've got a glue stick. Even though I don't use it at all in college. Um... I thought I might have needed it, and it's always good to just keep it where you know it is. And so he just lives in my pencil case. But yeah, so thank you for coming to my video, and please let me know you liked it. Leave a comment, and I'll try and respond to every single one of you guys. And yeah, bye!